Welcome back to Callie's World, where we make friends and learn new things together. Do you like sports, friends? My dad and I are watching basketball on TV right now. But I love all types of sports. Basketball, soccer, tennis. You know what, though? Sports let me down a little lately. Do you see this cast on my arm? I was playing my favorite sport last week, softball. My team was winning, but then the ball was thrown and hit my arm. Ouch. It was an accident, but it hurt so much, and I had to go to a specialist to get a cast. I still love softball, but I won't be able to play it for a few months. It makes me feel a little bit sad, but... Callie, some of your friends are here to see you. Oh, wow. That's really nice of them. Friends, I'll be right back. Let's listen to today's Bible story in the meantime. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn an amazing story about Jesus. Awesome. Today in our Bible story, Jesus was finished speaking in the synagogue. A synagogue? What's that? A synagogue is a place where people get together to learn about God. Kind of like a church? Exactly. After the synagogue, Jesus went to the house of Simon, who was a friend of Jesus. But there at the house, Jesus was told some very bad news. What happened? Jesus found out that Simon's mother-in-law was sick. What was wrong with her? She had a very high fever. Oh no, that's not good. Not at all. Jesus went to go see Simon's mother-in-law, who was laying in the bed, not able to do anything. Jesus reached out and held her hands, and she got better right away. Just like that? Just like that. Jesus made her fever go away. Jesus made her all better. He helped her get up, and then she started to feed Jesus and his friends. She was able to take care of everyone because she wasn't sick anymore. They must have been surprised. You bet. All over, people heard what Jesus did, and that caused the entire town to come to where Jesus was. How come? Because they needed help from Jesus. Many of them were sick. Some of them couldn't see. Some couldn't walk. Did Jesus heal them? Yes, he did. The people were healed and more people began to follow Jesus. Jesus didn't only care about his friends. He cared about everyone. I'm back, friends. And that was a wonderful story. So, you want to know why my friends came over? They wanted to know how I was doing. And guess what? All of them signed my cat. They were all so nice to write get well notes and give me some good gifts because they knew I wasn't feeling too great. I'm so happy that no matter how sick or in pain I might be, Jesus takes care of me. He always knows what I need. Look at this note from my friend Allie. See you soon on the field. Definitely, like Jesus healed the people in this story, I know Jesus will make me all better in no time. Well, Gotta run, friends. The basketball game I was watching is almost finished, and I would love to see who wins. Thanks for watching and growing with me. Bye!
God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me God made me, he made everything God loves me, he can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me